Hi, I'm Corinne Campbell with Dash 10 and you're watching Pure Grain Audio. Oh man, I mean pre-show is usually, when I'm being good, is usually like a vocal warm-up um, and so <laughs> it's not extreme but it's annoying um, because I am a rock singer and I sing kind of high and so like sometimes the best way to get that like edge in there is like ah! and so like people kind of don't like that. <laughs> um, it also gets loud really quickly and so even when I'm backstage people are like what is that sound? Like they think it's a siren. So. I used to think it was someone's chest, especially women. I used to think that that was going to be the most extreme thing I ever signed, but actually I was playing, um, I actually played at a high school um, with my band and they wanted us to sign their foreheads. <laughs> and so that was, that's probably it. Probably in a C-130 from Ireland to Baghdad. And when you come into Baghdad, well, maybe not now, but then you corkscrew down like this, and yeah, it's a that's pretty extreme. I did not throw up, but some people on the flight did. <laughs> Probably the hood of my friend's car. It was a hometown show. <laughs> The good one was actually last year. Um, I was on the tour last year as a solo artist, not with Dash 10, and we were doing custom dog tags at our merch tent, and somebody brought me their dog tag, and um, it said, Kareem Campbell, your music saved me, Warped Tour 15, and like, it, what's funny is that she actually gave it to my tour manager and it, she, like she wasn't actually able to line up with me and I, I posted it online and I was just like, who did this? I just bawled. So maybe my reaction was extreme, but that seemed extreme. As far as like kind of creepy, I've actually had someone show up at my house. It was weird because it you would think that someone would be really creepy to like research property records and show up at your house. But then he wasn't, like once he got there, he wasn't really creepy. <laughs> so it was kind of weird. It's like you did this really creepy thing, but like you're a totally normal person and I don't really know how to process that. But he said that he came, he'd hitchhiked from Philly to Nashville, which is where I'm living. So yeah, it was a, that was extreme for him. Like, way to go, man. <laughs> Oh, I've only had like two pets. I had a cat for 19 years. You know, she was kind of extreme though. Her name was Shadow, she was a black cat. I got her when I was like five maybe. And then she lived until I was 24. And she was 19 years old. She was an outdoor cat living in Minnesota, eating meow mix. And like she would always leave me like bird guts or mouse guts or whatever. And she was extreme. She lived on the edge, man. That cat was extreme. <laughs> Brazil, all day long. I, I know more words in Portuguese than any other language because Brazilian fans are just, they're the most passionate and they'll go the furthest and I love them for that. Most extreme.